I'm going to show you two different ways to factorise this. The first way is what I call the cheats way. So the cheats way, now that you're allowed your calculator, you go menu, you go equation, and you go polynomial, and degree 2. And it's 5x squared, so a is 5, because we're comparing it to ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Then we've got negative 9, and then we have got negative 2. Execute. Now, this tells me the solutions are 2 and negative a fifth. Okay, so if I go down, you can see that's negative a fifth. So if a solution is 2, then a factor will be x minus 2. And if a solution is negative a fifth, then a factor will be x plus a fifth. However, I need to use this number at the front. I can see the fifth, so I can see that it should be x minus 2, and the 5 is going to go inside here. So 5x plus 1. I can then check 5x squared, check, plus x minus 10x, check, uh, minus 2, check. So I factorised. So what I did is I found the solutions. From the solutions I chose my factors and then I chose my multiplier. Okay, so that's the first method. The second method I'm going to show you is this. Take the 5 and the negative 2, multiply them together, you get negative 10. You're looking for two numbers that a times b is negative 10 and a plus b is negative 9. So those numbers are going to be negative 10 times 1 and negative 10 plus 1. Does that make sense? Negative 10 um, and 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace minus 10x. So we're going to have 5x squared. Instead of minus, 10, minus 9x, we're going to have minus 10x plus x, because minus 10x plus x is minus 9x, minus 2. Then we're going to factor these two. What's common to both? 5x, x minus 2, plus factoring this, 1 x minus 2. Then I can see that x minus 2 is common to both, so it's 5 x plus 1 x minus 2. So that's given the same result, different method. Okay, and some of you will just do a guess and check method that you might find quicker. So it depends on you, what works for you. Now notice that's exactly the same as this. So now you need to solve it. We already knew the solutions from the calculator. So we knew x was negative a fifth or x was 2. Let's have a look at the mark scheme for question 2. So going down. So there we have it. Now notice you can write that, and that's still valid. It's not a problem. You don't have to put the 5 in. It's just tidier. It's nicer. So you can see they've put that in the mark scheme because probably lots of people are just doing it that way. Okay? Yeah? yeah? Done.